everybody I want to make a uh, video on gang stalking evidence and I want to help UTIs out there who are still confused about what's going on because I noticed this community this TI community needs a lot of help and I'm here to help you guys. So I have this video here titled the, the best gang stalking evidence you will ever see. And it's from a YouTube content creator. Uh, I believe the name is under the word. And I want to help her in her gang stalking so let's go let's watch her video together and i will analyze what's going on and how she can look at what's going on in a different perspective now i'm going to tell you guys this she's a real ti so let's get that out of the way she's a real ti what she's experiencing, it, what she experienced or what's going on right now, are true to her. All she really needs is just a different perspective on gang stalking. So let's start. I want you to see how they operate. Yesterday I uploaded a, a video called Perp Patrol are watching us. And I put um, the video of these individuals in um, that video. I'll show you right now. Against them, any social media sites where they will be taken out. Pardon? Is there any of those photos end up on social media websites where they'll be taking further action? Okay. Yeah? You can take so, action. Yeah. I want to give more context to this footage. I'm walking down the road. I see a man and a woman with a dog in the background there walking up this way towards me in my direction. The guy does a hand signal with his left hand. Look, watch, he raises up his left hand. There we go, hand comes up, hand comes down, and they both stop there. When that happens, then we get the little white van coming around here. There we go. And then the van stops. Okay, now one of them pulls out a phone, the other one looks at the phone. Then immediately after looking at whatever that is on the phone, one can only imagine, he looks over at me. There you go. Looks at the phone again. Then they reverse. These are the same people. They're in the same uniforms. It's the same guy. This is near my home. There we go, they're turning around now. There you go, same uniforms, they've got the body cams on, same shoulder pads, same people. As Soon as they seen me, you know, looked at the phone, looked at me, turns around. There you go, they're looking over at me again, to then go in the direction that I'm heading in we go. What you'll also notice is the man and woman with the dog also, there you go, there's the man and woman, they also decided to turn around and go back in the opposite direction when they were walking up this way. So both them and the van turn around as soon as I come. Okay, then I walk all the way down here. The van starts making weird movements. It goes around here, comes down this road and like turns out this way. I walk all the way down the road, I've sped it up. And as we get to this point, what you'll see is that man with the dog is stopped again. And he's just standing there. And uh, these are the movements he does as a girl on the phone walks past. And you'll see it. And um, 
Yeah, strange. Both him, his dog, were walking up this way, and they stopped. The van was coming up this way. They both turned around and went in the direction I'm going. Like I said, as you can see, after they looked at the phone, they look over at me, and then they turn around. And it's the same people in the same uniforms. I just wanted to, get to give more context to what went on in this video because of uh, what I want to show you what happened today. Okay, so she explained what she saw in the, in the video. And yes, she explained it perfectly. I understand where she's coming from. Her mind was listening to the lower voice to skull, making her focus too much on what's happening and over dramatize every little incident. If you think about it, she just used a lot of her brain cell, a lot of her brain energy on that small little sequence. She analyzed what happened by using way too much brain energy on that. And as one thing I learned from my experience is I would go through my day analyzing all these random things. And I realized that it just makes me so tired. And all those thoughts throughout the entire day are in the category of the negative thoughts. And that's a bottom line here. I will tell you TIs out there exactly like the way it is. You might not like how I explain things, but I'm here to help you guys. The bottom line here is too much negative thoughts throughout the day. Oh, there you go. He leans up against the fence, girl goes past on the phones, looking over at me, coming in this direction. Hand signal, you know, looks over again. This one in here, this is just off my street where I live. There they are again, looking around, staring at their phone, looking around. And I clip that in there and added that in again hanging around where I live. So the next day... I notice a lot of TIs are extremely hypersensitive. And I was like that many years ago. But... I didn't get it as deep as some of most of you TIs out there because my philosophy is if they are not standing right in front of my face, harassing me, talking trash to my face, I'm not going to waste my energy thinking about what that person is doing because nothing's going on I realized I was in public people are allowed to be in public people are allowed to make hand gestures hand movements they're allowed to look whichever direction they want if they want to stare at you they can stare at you they can stare at me all they want I'm just gonna keep doing my own thing and do what I need to do and just get my date through and get home so why waste all my time and brain energy thinking about or believing that the people in public or some people in public are gang stalking me and I understand you got to pay attention to, the, to your surroundings. Same goes for the other people in public. They pay attention to their surroundings. So they're going to look every direction. 
they're going to look towards your direction. I mean, it's just the way it is. You're in public. And in public, people are allowed to film whatever they want because it's public space. I mean, unless it's so obvious where the person is following you with a phone pointing directly at you and also engaging in conversation with you when you don't want them to talk to you and you don't want them to follow you. But then that's up to you. You can cross the street. You can turn the other way and, and, and walk the other direction. But if that person start following you again, then yeah, then that is harassment. But I don't see anything like that in majority of the TI evidence, in, in these video evidence. Day after I uploaded that, I head out to go to the store. Keep an eye on this van here. This van, um, I'll show you what this is later, but notice how this pulls in here. Then you've got these two individuals, the guy with the red hat and the woman. Um, we're going to be focusing on these two people right now. And um, yeah, let's get into it. And then, they even? Look how sus they're acting. They're like, they don't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> what is this movement? to let you TIs out there know as you're watching this when she's filming this video here the entire time she was sitting there watching people passing by her mind was getting attacked by the lower voice to skull and her mind was put into a negative mindset as you notice she's sitting there no one's talking to her. Her behavior was, and her thought process was negative. And I know exactly how she feels because I was there years ago. And I know a lot of you TIs out there listening, listening to what I'm saying. You will not understand or you don't want to accept these information because you are also being attacked by a lower voice to skull to make you lose focus in what I'm saying. Because what I'm saying is logical. To function in society, to be in public with other people in public, no one is doing anything wrong. And she's not doing anything wrong, but she's getting attacked by lower voice to skull. And everything that she sees, she has to analyze in a negative way. 
And this time she spent sitting there thinking this way, it's only one small part of the day. Now, if you're being gang stalked for five years, and you're still stuck in this phase of gang stalking, that's five years of extremely negative thoughts on a daily basis. And so much negative thoughts, you're actually being trained to not be able to operate properly in society unless responsibility really kicks in and where you have to do things, you know, because you have to pay for the bills or or pay for rent or, or pay for mortgage, whatever, pay for gas, pay for uh, transportation, food. And only because of those necessities that kicks in will make you, will make a TI continu continuously function in society, but not in a very positive way. Because that's too many years of negative thoughts on a daily basis. It's going to wear you down. It's going to wear the TI down. And all these negative thoughts are a form of fear. Because fear or negative thoughts and the way she's behaving is she has a lot of fear right now in this video. But fear of what? For me, for a while, I was going out, leaving, you know, out of my home, everywhere I go, I was strapped, thinking something bad's going to happen today. But yet, also, I, I don't want that situation to happen where I need to pull out my gun. Even though I was illegally carrying it around, I was legally able to own it, but not conceal carry it around. But I seriously thought my life was in danger on a daily basis. And thank God nothing bad happened. And thank God those days are long gone. And I know exactly how she felt in this moment. And I know exactly how you TIs feel on a daily basis. You feel like you're being followed. You feel like someone's stalking you. Your life is in danger. But as days go by, you're still here. And each one of those days, you're just training your mind to think negative. And each one of those negative thoughts is a form of fear. And let me break it down to be uh, give you an example. One of her fear is seeing people holding their cell phone. That's a form of fear. So if someone's holding on to their cell phone in public, she's going to think they're probably filming her or, or talking to their handler or talking to other gang stalkers nearby to, to relay information. So when she sees people holding a cell phone walking, that's a form of fear. That's, gonna, that's a trigger in her mind. And the lower voice of the skull will kick in every time. Until she can figure out that people holding cell phone is a no big deal. Pe everyone holds cell phones now. Everybody got a cell phone. It's no big deal. But the TI, in this incident, she allowed the lower voice of the skull to trick her into believing that the people in public holding a cell phone are spying on her now i know she doesn't think everybody holding cell phone in public or spying on her but it's a it's a form of a of a trigger that the lower voice of skull the gang soccer have on her so they can use this whenever they want because they know it's, it's one fear that she has and until she conquered that fear the lower voice of skull the gang stalkers can use it on her whenever they want so Another form of fear is with people, TI is about the color of the car. You know, blue, red, white. You know, next thing is silver, next is yellow. You know, like, this list goes on and on. I know there's a lot of white cars out there. I know there's a lot of blue and red cars out there. A lot of silver cars, black cars. But, and, and, and you're not going to think that everyone is like that, but... There is that fear in the TI, and the gang stalker can use that against the TI whenever they want through the lower voice to skull. So just because you see white cars right now or blue and red cars, it doesn't do anything to you on its on this day. On an, another day, you might see a, a red car or a blue car, and the and the gang stalker feel like messing with you. They will use that to mess with you because all they gotta do is direct your focus 
and attention to it, and they'll trigger you into 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 this gang stalking uh, negative thought process. But at the end of the day, you still get home, right? If you think about it clearly, a lot of these fears and and and, and thoughts are manipulated into your mind by these gang stalkers. And that's why I always tell you guys, you, you got to have the no fear mentality because that is over 50% of the battle. The battle here is in your mind. Notice what she's doing right now. She's having a, a battle in her own mind. And the lower voice of skull is feeding her fear. But 90% of you TIs out there do not understand this. Every day there's TIs making gang stalking content not knowing this. And when people like me, who's more experienced, try to help you guys, either you guys don't understand or you change the channel or you change the video or you come back with saying it's the government. Anyone who's saying it's the government, you are not as experienced as me. And many other TIs out there who already went beyond the government experience. That's a fact. I'll open debate with any one of you if you disagree. Notice how she's slow framed because that guy looked in her direction. I mean, the guy just chilling there, but she's putting her focus on this person in the most negative way and listening to the lower voice of Skull telling her that's a gang stalker. They're, they're so sus, so suspect. Those two people aren't even talking to her. Like, it's. Maybe four years ago, I might think that, yeah, one of these people are, are, are spying on me. But now it's like, if I hear T.I. talk, you know, try to use this as evidence, I'm sorry, it's not. That works. I'm explaining to help you. And if what I'm saying is it's kind of hard for you to keep up, it's okay because right now your focus is being attacked. I know when T.I. watches my videos, their focus are getting attacked. So, a better way for you to go about it is get a piece of paper and pen and just write it out. Do a brainstorm. Lay it out. Like, there's no need to slow frame this because that guy just standing there, he can look 360 degrees. He can look at whatever he wants. He can look at anything he wants because it's public space. And that's that. And the TIs, if you disagree, too bad. That's public space. You have to agree. You have to let it go. You have to not let that bother you. It's public space. It's public space. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't disagree. You have to let this go. Let it go. You don't know how? Just do what I tell you. Unless they are talking to you, literally, directly, and standing right in front of your face. then you shouldn't spend any attention on these people. Other than glance around just for your safety to see who's around, that's that. You don't need to spend your mind energy thinking and tripping your own self out on these people are gang stalkers because throughout months and months of this, yeah, you better believe your mind's going to be put into the worst state than a few months prior. And if you don't know how to figure to get your way out of that mental state, then you really don't understand that no fear mentality when it comes to gang stalking because you're going to need it. You will not beat gang stalking if you do not understand no fear mentality. No fear is because 
all these problems are self-created, self, you're being tricked by the lower voice of the skull to make you believe there's problems going on when there's no problems going on. There's no problems going on. I don't see no problems going on. She's sitting there. There's people sitting over there on the left. There's people standing. There's people walking. There's no problems. And I got a feeling those two in the in the center, those that couple or whatever, friends, that guy and the girl, I'm sure they're nice people. Oh, I also have to say, this is the way I, I talk is I get very uh, I, I get very into this when I'm talking about gang stalking because I went through it. And I'm trying to help you, T.I., so this is nothing against under the word. I know what she went through. It's it's all true because I went through it. And I'm just talking with facts because I am trying to help you, T.I. I'm trying to help her if she's watching. I'm trying to help T.I.s out there who's in the same phase of gang stalking. You have to find a way to elevate. And to elevate your, your spirit is... You have to realize there's no problem here other than the thoughts that are coming into your mind, creating these problems, believing that these people are, are stalking you or believing people in public are stalking you when no one even talked to you. Like, there are no problems here. Notice how many of these vans drive past as well. They're owned by uh, the, the state, the council. The one in front of them is Durham Council. This one is a Durham University van. And these are the same vans that uh, the perps drive around in. The state owned. I don't know what's the deal with this van here, this council van. Oh. Because they're like clearly staring at this van. Oh, it just row off. I was going to go and see what that was about. So they do the whole distraction thing where they separate one here and then they'll place this one over here. To try and so you can't get both at the same time, you know what I'm saying? So they're all heading in there now. Right? In the mark. Yeah, it's all our cameras. It's all our cameras. Oh, and we still got him. Remember him? He's coming back down this way. Is he gonna go in the mark as well? Yeah. These are the handlers. They have a, a whole, uh, they run the whole thing. They're an organization that runs this whole thing. Okay. I have to disagree. They are not the handlers. And they don't run the whole thing. Because one thing that a lot of TIs don't talk about is why are you being gang stalked? Why you? Why are they doing this to you? And the only good reason why, I already told you guys, it's because 
you, T.I., you and I, the true T.I.s, going through gang stalking, can hear the gang stalkers, which are evil spirits, evil aliens, whatever you want to call them. They're these entities. And I prefer to call them aliens because they are in a different form, a physical form. Because they are in the physical, but they don't have this body, but they are there. And to me, that is alien. Even if, if you say the word ghost, because ghost through society, ghost is associated with a human. But then it's not a human because it doesn't have an actual body. It's proper ways uh, people say it's energy. Yeah, that's more proper than human, than related with humans. But a ghost, to me, is more like an alien. And they hit the jackpot finding you because you can hear them. And a good way to control you is to make sure you're in fear. Because there's more option for them to manipulate your mind to do different things when you're in fear. They need to work within your mind through the lower voice to skull. And you have all these fears. They have all these ways to take your focus and your attention. And I also notice that if the TI is happier, more positive, doing more things, having more hobbies and living life, try to be as normal as possible or excel and, 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 and try to accomplish different goals, you're busy and you're less likely to focus on these negative things. It's like a battle going on. And the evil entities will want you to be in fear to take your focus. In a way for them, it's like they're controlling you. Not fully controlling you, but a lot of your daily activities, they can manipulate you and control what you do and make you change your mind, your decision on what to do. While the good side will just let you be if you're in the positive. You just kind of let you do what you want. Kind of like before you realize you're being gang stalked. Because I know all you TIs out there, you, you reminisce about the days before you realized you were being gang stalked. And I know you also went through a, a part of your, of your life where you kind of want those days to come back. And the gang stalkers to be gone. And... You can make your life a lot better. But first you have to do is understand the no fear mentality. You need no fear mentality to have that home court advantage inside your mind. You need to have that positive thought to counter all the negative thoughts. Because right now most TI, the negative thoughts are consuming you. If any content creator try to tell you to not go in public, don't go anywhere, no, they don't know what they're talking about. You don't want to be stuck at home, stuck by yourself, isolated, because that just means you're not talking to anyone, you're not engaging in anything with other people. All you're doing is just stare in your mind, listening to lower voice to skull, making you think negative on a daily basis, and making you believe everything you think of or your thoughts and everything that you're thinking of are true. You must understand no fear mentality. You must. They, um, That's their van right there.
probably drop them all off, you know what I mean? Drop all the perps off, not the back of it. If she believes that, if she believes this van dropped the perps off, then she would definitely, this is an opportunity, she's going to want to probably chill around and try to find out. I mean, she just made a claim that the perps got out of the van because she's her mind is in a trance. Right now, she's in fears in this little square, this plaza area. It's because her mind is in a trance, and this trance is making her see everything in public in a negative way. She's listening to lower voices skull, manipulating her mind. That's why she, she made a statement that the perps probably came out of the van. Well, the next thing she needs to do is try to confirm that. She should just stay there and see who's driving this van and see if anyone's, you know, going to get in. These people in public are not the gang stalkers. Throughout the day, as a TI, your mind's getting attacked by the lower voice of skull from the gang stalkers. But they are not these people in public. All these people are TIs. But they are not a true TI like you. But they can be manipulated by the gang stalkers. And that's why some of you TIs out there try to synchronize it and say, oh, that person just so happened to turn this way when I'm looking. And then the, the TI, the true TI would, would think that, oh, I caught them looking at me. See, they're gang stalkers. Call them out. These gang stalkers control areas, are large areas, like an area effect type of thing. And all these people are TIs, like I've always been telling you guys. The difference is, we are the true TIs that understand these gang stalking. G4S. Oh, they got the security systems and all, all kinds. I'll show you what they do. I'll bring up the website when I go back and edit this. Now, this is G4S, right? They operate in 90 countries. They're the biggest surveillance um, company going, right? I mean, just look at their site. It just shows you what they're doing. That that image right there um, describes it all. Uh, G4S is a security market leader. We provide a broad range of products and services across more than 90 countries. Okay, so they're 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 huge in this. Look at that technology, technology, data, security professionals. They're they're building up profiles on um, people, especially TIs, and. Um, you can see it here, right here, there they are again, this is on indeed.com, and uh, here's all the perps reviewing the job. So this is employee reviews for their surveillance operator, G4S, and you can see them all here. All kinds of stuff. Surveillance agent, great work environment. This is like with all the gang stalkers, surveillance agent, okay, it's great. These are real reviews on Indeed.com. That is just a title of a, of a position at a security firm that most likely installed those cameras around the area they either contract with the city or the county or maybe the private, private business hired them. Who knows? But these are not the gang stalkers and they are not perps. We all know there are cameras being installed every single day. So yes, it's true. Everywhere we go, we are on camera. And it's true that they are building a profile with our face and all this stuff. 
But what we are going through is more serious than that because the TI community, the TI majority believes that people are following them. People are purposely harassing them and cars are following them. Cars are driving by, honking horns, all this stuff. That is something completely different. This is a security company, yes. And they do surveillance, yes, it says on their website. But she is connecting that to perps, to perps pay for by whoever doing these stalking and harassment on her, on the TI community. Going back to my question, why you? Why you? And if you're still watching this right now, good for you as a TI. Because I know majority of TIs already changed the video maybe after 10 minutes. It's okay. Those TIs is just going through, you know, this different phase of gang stalking where their focus is not really there. And I know whenever TIs are watching my video, they're gang stalkers. It's going to take their focus away because I talk a lot of truth. And I'm so confident with what I'm saying, I will debate anybody. Anyone in the TI community, I'll debate with you. In a friendly debate, I'll do that. Live stream, I will do that. Because I will ask you a question. Why you? There's over 7 billion people on Earth, okay? Let's just say half of it are kids. Let's just say half are kids. So that's still 3.5 billion people that's, let's just say, within 18 and over. Why you? Why, whoever's spending money, why are they spending money on you doing this to you? Like, how pleasurable is this? Like, you can think of as much as random thoughts as you want. Oh, there's a lottery system, or because you, you murder someone. Or you sold drugs? Really? If you murder someone, they're going to actually take you to jail. They're not going to spend more money on seeing how you behave every day when there's really nothing going on. If you sell drugs, they're not going to put all that money hiring people to follow you to see what's going on. If you respond, oh, because, well, they don't have all these people just follow one TI. There's a lot of TIs around. They just, like, switch off or they're in different, cover different areas. But still, why you? Why you? Why are they doing this to you? People with money. If you have all that money, I, I know it's hard to put yourself in the shoes of, let's say, multi-billionaires. Because I'm not doing it, I wouldn't know what their life is like. But I would imagine, you would get all that money to just throw away. Even the government can print money. The Federal Reserve can print money. Why you? I will tell you just from my own personal experience. Because I know I don't do bad things. I don't sell drugs. So I haven't done anything where I even deserve in the beginning, why I even deserve this gang stalking? So why me? I keep trying to think about it. Why me? Why me? What's going on? It took me years to realize what's going on. And then many more years to let that information actually set into my mind. So back to the question for you. Why you? Yeah, you might, you're listening to this, you might be, you might have done some bad things. You might do tax fraud, maybe uh, commit a lot of crimes, you know, really heavy crimes. But why you? Why, why aren't you in prison if they already know about your crimes? Why are they spending all the money doing this to you when they know about your crimes? Why you? Um, they do the whole crisis acting. You know, this is all about the crisis active thing. They they 
they're in that as well. G4S, I mean, you can do your own research, you can pause it, read through it. There you go, rapid development. They're the ones putting up all the CCTV towers all over the place. It's G4S. There you go, this is a different country now. Um, you know, they have jobs here saying, um, you know, come and join our surveillance team. You do not need any previous surveillance or investigation experience. We're looking for highly motivated team members with core skills of intelligence, integrity, determination, and grit to cope with the robust nature of our work. We will provide full training along with a company vehicle, equipment required to carry out the role. You know, you'll be part of the operational team, which is basically stalking people. Well, if it was this easy, I would imagine T.I.'s would apply for that job. I mean, she, I'm sure if she actually looked around, she would find employees that can explain what they were doing. You know, employees that are with this exact uh, surveillance operative role. I mean, but what's happening? I mean, it should be easy to find whistleblowers. Like, and there should be easy to find proof of what's going on. Why is everyone so confused at what's happening? Well, I wouldn't say everyone. I would say the majority of TIs. This does not say anything about gang stalking that real people are hired to follow other people or drive around to surveillance other people. I'm sure this is just a, a maintenance of the surveillance cameras, CCTV maintenance. That's a lot of money they're spending on, on hiring people to drive a van to follow you, but why you? Why you? Um, here we go again. This is jobs in London. Surveillance operative, full-time job, London, UK. Right here. They, they've overtook uh, Cotswold Group. This is a part of them. And uh, they provide covert surveillance services. Covert surveillance services, okay? Main responsibilities to work under supervision of an area manager, which is the handler, undertake covert surveillance operations with purposes of obtaining video evidence of the subject's level of ability, observe and film subjects in accordance with relevant like legislation <laughs> and uh, in our own code of conduct. Sorry, in our in our, sorry, their code of conduct. So it's basically stalking. Maintain accurate and detailed records of observations and provide evidence at courts if required to do so. Investigate, carry out inquiries and investigations as directed by an area management manager. It's quite sick. And then I want to show you... Uh, that all that explained was getting evidence if they believe people are committing crimes or they believe they're suspects and try to capture evidence. That's in a broader sense to use in court. So back to what I'm saying. Why you? Are you committing crime every day? That's why every day you feel like you're being stalked? Because if you are committing crime, you feel like that's the reason, then stop doing those crimes. Just stop doing crimes. If you're not doing crimes every day, you're not doing crimes at all, then why you? Why you? I already gave you the answer. It's because you are special as a true TI because you can hear the gang stalkers. The gang stalkers are following you because you can hear them. That's why. Not because the government or, or some occult or some billion trillionaire want to spend all this money to, to mess with you 
because they're sick in the head. Not because a Freemason wants to spend all their money to do this to you because they're sick in the head. No. They want to mess with you. Why you? Why you? If the Freemason thinks that, oh, they want to have a surveillance team following you, why? Okay, and now the next question, how long have you been gang stalked? Oh, three years? Why for three years? What are they looking for in the last three years? Why? Why? Ask yourself these questions. And at the end of the day, are you still sleeping in your own bed? Are you still sleeping? Are you still surviving? you still wake up in the morning? How many years have you been gang stalked? Why? Why would the government or any multi-billionaire would want to spend money or some gang out there, some, some drug gang or whoever that you think you believe? Why are they doing this to you? What, what have you done in your life to deserve to be stopped like this? Especially for all these years. And I believe that you haven't done anything. That deserve it. You're not even a criminal. You're just a person before you realize you've been gang stalked. But now that you've been gang stalked, you feel like your life is destroyed. Your life sucks. But I've been telling you guys, you're special. Because you can hear the gang stalkers. Think of yourself as a medium. As an oracle. That's exactly what you are. And until you realize this, you're stuck. No bullshit. This is me telling you the truth. You're stuck. Until you realize what I'm telling you, until you understand it, you're going to spend the rest of your life stuck. That's the bottom line here. Stuck. Because after all these years, you still don't understand. No people are doing this to you. No government is using all these resources doing this to you. Out of all the people on this planet, you can't even answer why they pick you if it's government. Give one legitimate reason why. And that's why those, those non-true TIs out there don't get what's going on. Then they just see the community, that's the community, true TI community, as crazy nuts. It's because from a mediator perspective, when I watch these videos, I, I tell you the facts. There's no problems. Notice that G4S van. Now she's doing a research on this. All this time she's spending researching, she's actually putting her mind into even more negative thoughts. It was negative when she was out in public, and then now at home, she's doing research. She's even more negative reading these different job descriptions. It's negative on top of negative, and negative reinforced the previous negative. It's like she's building up this stronger, stronger negative thoughts. Right now, she is building walls on her mind, believing that the G4S company are the gang stalkers and the perps and the handlers. Right now, in this research a job description she's re fortifying her her negative fortress of g4s and that will be in her mind it'll be put away in a part of her memories and the gang stalker will always be able to just pull that memory back out and use it against her so until she figure it out for the rest of her life whenever she see a g4s van She's going to be triggered. And that's me telling you this no bullshit. Because the bottom line here is, where are the problems? Whom harassed her when she was in public? No one talked to her. 
No one engaged in any interaction with her, but her mind was very active on negative thoughts. And she doesn't realize it. And majority of UTIs out there don't know what I'm saying and don't want to believe what I'm saying is true. But out of all the things you can think about, all the things you can think about, TIs, the majority of TI decide to think about the negative things that's going on in his or her surrounding. See, if I was in her shoe, no, 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 if she was in my shoe, at that public space where the G4S van was, I would just be sitting there looking at people. My mind wouldn't even be thinking about anything negative. I would just be people watching, probably drinking on some uh, some drinks or something like a like a special specially made like juice, like squeezed out pressed juice or something, or eating like a sandwich, eating a piece of fruit that I can only find in in Europe. Like that's what I'll be doing. Yeah, I'll probably be filming too. But my mind wouldn't be thinking so negative about all these people. But if I was there five years ago, I would just be, I would be just like her. My mind would think negative, similar to her. But now, if I was there, no. Those negative thoughts would not enter my mind. Because I understand already that no one is engaging in any conversation with me. They want to look at me, have a staring contest. I wouldn't even engage in the staring contest. What's the point? If they don't like me, they want to stare at me. What are they going to do about it? Are they going to come over here and interact with me? No one has done that. So why should I spend my energy focusing on it? Well, because I know the lower voice to skull will try to make me think negative. I know this. That's why I'm telling you, I wouldn't even think about that person staring at me. That's way over there. But for the majority of UTIs, you'll probably end up looking at over there, seeing a person looking at you, and then you'll probably look away, and the whole time, your mind's going to think, oh, that person is it's, it's a gang stalker, and then you're going to kind of get casually glance back and forth, looking over there, back and forth, whatever, like feeling uncomfortable. That's exactly the state of mind you don't want to be in. That's fear. That's a form of fear. Let that person go. Let them stand there and stare whatever way they want. If you don't like it, just get up and, and move. If you don't want to move, you want to make a point you like where you are, then just chill there. Don't worry about the person. That person, Unless the person comes over here and talks to you face to face, engage with you, you really don't need to give them much attention at all. More than just that one one second or two seconds of glancing in that direction. That's it. That's all you got to do. Don't let anything penetrate your mind with negative thoughts. This takes training. But if you understand this concept, you'll get better as time progresses. Probably take you two years. But you will get better as the days progress. Um... This lady here, what they were doing to here, to her. So she was getting gang stalked by them. This is like real stuff. G4S, using undercover surveillance teams, disguising themselves as delivery men to spy on sick and or disabled in their homes, right? I read through this a little bit, but um, they were actually going into this woman's home. Where did I read this? Hang on. Mm-hmm. Look, that's her. That's them taking images of her, going around, taking images of her. It's it's disgusting. <laughs> People say that uh, this is not happening. People don't get gang stalked or harassed. If you look at the beginning of this article, it talked about insurance claiming. Just for by doing this because they believe 
She's doing insurance fraud. I mentioned disability. I mean, but yet, like, she needs to read the entire article, or at least go paragraph by paragraph, because... See, investigation, right here in the middle, investigation her disability prevents her from working, and in early 2011, she made a claim on her Zurich critical injury insurance policy. So this lady claimed insurance policy from work, disability, and G4F is surveillance her because they believe she's not even hurt. That is not gang stalking, that is called investigating insurance fraud. Um, where is the part where I read that they literally went into her home? Um, disabled woman. Yeah, whose home was entered by one of its staff, claiming to be delivering a clothing catalog. So these people are going up, they're going into people's homes, these are real jobs, these are real things that they're doing. It's not a conspiracy, it's not crazy. They're doing this and they're employing people. Just random people, come and join our teams and come and uh, conduct covert surveillance services. <laughs> You know, I'm actually quite impressed by this company if they're actually getting people dressed up and try to show up, try to capture footage uh, of the person trying to claim disability insurance because that is pretty impressive. See, I see a reason why they would do that because the lady is trying to claim insurance, uh, disability insurance on her policy and who knows how much money she's going to get. So if that money is, if let's say that money is enough, it can justify it's better to pay G4S to investigate. Now that's justifiable. So are UTIs out there trying to claim money from other people or try to scam money from the government or from the Freemason, from the, some billionaire? Like, what are you doing? Are you really taking money away from people? If you are and you're scared about it, then stop doing it. But I, I know majority of UTIs are not doing this at all. You're not trying to scam money out of anyone. So then why you? And leave now. <laughs> Freaking hilarious. So they're one of the organizations under this um, program. They actually employ. I want to use my phone for um, music and stuff. So let's hope the glasses. I told you these people follow me. See, it's the same. It's the same um, organization, and you can see they're hooked up with body cams. And he's walked right behind me. And I have so much footage of people in this dress, in this kind of uniform. Don't even look at me. This kind of uniform coming around. They even come like near my home. same people that uh, came up to me a while back and said, um, what was it they said? We're going to bring action on you or something? 
against them and his social media sites were really taken action. So Pardon? If any of those photos end up on social media websites, we will be taking further action. Okay. Yeah. You can take so, action. Yeah. Probably came straight out of that van. They don't interrupt, they just pretend that nothing's going on. That's completely oblivious. Yeah, it's gotta be it's gotta be looking to see now. This is where the lower voice of Skull has really just taken over her mind. Because at this point, she's probably already been receiving lower voice of Skull for many, many hours. Her behavior right now doesn't make her a victim no more. Right now, her behavior, even though she's explaining from her mind, but even though it's the truth, that's what she believes. But the action in itself, does not justify her as a victim. Because if she's the one being harassed, she wouldn't be walking the same pace as this person. It's because she's walking at the same speed, the same pace as this person, filming this person, even though she's explaining that this person is a gang stalker, worked for G4S, got out of the van, and how it's ignoring her when she's talking about her uniform, and how... There's no way this guy can't hear what she's saying and that he's not even looking over here, won't give her any attention. Like, all those false accusation and speculation of this gentleman and the fact that she's walking at the same speed as him, with him leading, so that means he's in front of her, she's no longer a victim. This is what all non-true GI would think that this person filming are somewhat mentally unstable. Now I know under the word it's a good person, she's a true TI, and I know what she went through or what she's going through right now. And at that moment I I, I, I understand. But it's just, back in the days when I was going through this, I wouldn't see this in a logical sense. I wouldn't think in a logical way because society with the law, the way it's built, it's, what she's doing here, it's, it's, it's not evidence, it's more like stalking. And what she's saying, I, I'm pretty sure this gentleman at the time heard some of her her words, some of the words out of her mouth. But he just keep walking because he's, he's got that mentality. He's not scared. He's just got that mentality, okay? Just keep walking. He can't stop what other person are saying about him. So he just keep walking. And he's not even doing anything to her. And it doesn't look like she was in fear because she's obviously walking at the same pace. So she's got like this surge of energy. Because I went through that. I have moments where I have surge of energy when I confront other people or confront people that are just in a, in a way that is very uh, confrontational uh, and aggressive. And, and like a badass where I just like, I don't care. I'm just going to, you want to, I'm going to. I'm gonna mess whoever wants to step in front of my way right now, you know, whoever wants to start something. Like, I had that mentality, you know, there are moments, and I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about, that you don't give a fuck moment, you know, like, like, you're gonna beat someone's ass moment, you know? And right now, she's going through that. That's why she's walking at the same pace as this person, because she's just pissed off that these gang stalkers are messing with her. But then again, no one's messing with her. Right now, she, at this, in this video, she's trying to find problems. She's trying to confront 
problems that didn't exist. But she, her mind believed it, it existed at the time. Oh, it's the exact same ones from the van. That's the exact same face from the van that was following me. I think I just got that. They can clearly hear me. Um, this is the <laughs> Wow, this is like probably some of the best footage I've got of this. Now, this is one of those moments where I can feel that, okay, she can't walk in front of them because if she walks in front of them, then she's going to believe that they're following her. So she wants to have the advantage by standing behind them, which is totally understandable. So this is fine, what she's doing. There's no need, even though, if something I would believe, oh, why are they walking so slow in front of me, just purposely trying to slow me down when I have to make this appointment, try to get to this place. Well... Don't blame other people. If you have to get to a certain place on time, then walk faster. Walk past the people in front of you. You don't have to be polite and, and try to walk behind them because they're there and there's not much space for you to maneuver around them. If you really want to get around some people because you try to get somewhere, you'll be able to do it. So if you're not in a hurry, then and you don't want to get in front of them because you're going to feel like they're following you from behind, then you just stay behind them. So this is legitimate. This is okay. He doesn't like mocking. It's called directive, directed conversation. They've all just been. Notice, okay, for those of you that actually understand, notice the electric mist. If you look behind her head, there's that hasty, kind of like grayish mist. Now, the UK, when it comes to electric mist, is very dense. In Europe, there's a lot of electric mist because they got a lot of history. In a small area, you know, small space, there's a lot of history and people throughout the ages and throughout time and there's just a lot of electric mist there and you can see it in this video look behind them you see that mist i mean if you know what you're looking at then you, you can identify it right away just like me but just pay attention to this grayish mist it's actually everywhere how much they get paid for this i think it's like minimum wage Oh, can you hear me? Am I recording? Yes, I am. This is them. NSL. 
Arston Holdings. They are parking enforcers, street monitoring enforcers, and as I'm looking through, um, you know, ANPR monitoring and detection. Um, you know, like they do checking services where they're screening people they go past. Notice processing. Now well, they have all this hive-minded crap going on. In intelligence. Look at it. Illuminate. Is this supposed to be Illuminati or something? Look at this. With a big brain mind, hive mind, intelligence, analytics. Has developed Illuminate, a powerful data platform that enables information to be gathered from multiple systems, sources including third party suppliers. It collates defined data sets in a single consolidation repository to ensure that the right information is available to the right people at the right time. Look what these people are doing. The data is used by our data scientists. Intelligent case. Decision science AI modeling. Field force, body worn solutions. There you are, body worn cam camera lenses. HD video evidence will be downloaded in minutes, available for instant reviewing by the huddle. Look at that, it's literally, they got digital workforce AI powered. Look at that, it's the hive mind that uh, they've got everyone plugged into, the AI system, they're just putting it right there. Significant develops, development of robotic and automated solutions that drive productivity efficiencies. Robotic process automation. Is at the heart of our digital workforce solutions. And you'll see that because they run on a script, as I will uh, show you in a minute. Wow. Software robots referred to as bots. They are bots. We've already deployed bots across our operations as a digital workforce platform and now use daily over 96% of our clients. I go through all this stuff. To... I mean, that information just sounds like a bunch of jargon. I still don't know what this company is doing. I don't, I still don't get what this company function is. So just a bunch of jargon description. And I don't see any correlation with gang stalking. But I understand with lower voices skull. See the lower voices skull, the gang stalker is it's what they're doing is any information you put into your mind, they will use it. And they will use it against you if you don't understand no fair mentality. Because once again, she's at home spending time researching these companies and fortifying the negative thoughts. Of believing what she's reading is gang stalking. There's nothing in this description that talks about gang stalking. It's just a bunch of jargons. Whatever they, this company does has nothing to do with gang stalking. Bots. Big deal. The word bots. AI. That's not a big deal. AIs are very common now. Like, this is where the TI community gets confused with. with What's gang stalking, the definition of gang stalking, and what's not gang stalking. And you can't confuse the two and, and use everything as, as the reason for gang stalking. And it seems like it's more and more common now that in the TI community, people just start throwing things and related to gang stalking. And I have to ask you the same question. Why you? What firm would hire this company to do what it's doing to GameStop you? Forever. Sorry, the video cut out for some reason, but we're continuing. Oh no.
There you go. There they are, collecting all your data from all social media. Wow. We are experts in the design of solutions that solve specific operational challenges. Our channel shifts solutions can encompass any of the following technologies. And this is what they can get off you. Online portals offering self-service automated assistance with web chat options, automated processing, payments, blah, 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 blah. Telephone, so that's interact voice response, smartphone apps, social media, emails, SMS, post. Like, what are they doing here? This is, ca this is kind of like the smart grid they've got everybody hooked into now. Forms register. Intelligent document management. <laughs> Look, machine learning technologies. It's, it's crazy. You should get guys take a look at this for yourself if you're interested. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, but you know, oh yeah, background checks. We're all looking into all your stuff. It's disgusting. You get paid for this. I think it's like minimum wage. Hello. Hello. Any reason why you look for? Hmm? End up any uh, social media websites that will be taking action. If any of those photos end up on social media websites, we will be taking further action. It's the same people. The same people. Keep I keep coming across them. I'm not stalking them. I'm not following them. But like I said, as soon as I uploaded that video yesterday, the next day, here they are. Ends up any uh, social media websites that will be taken action. If it ends, sorry, yes. what? If it you ends up on that uh, social fear. media websites, you will be taking action. Yes, if you get that camera on my fear. See, it's just a script. They just run it. It's like the same one. Oh, like. <laughs> now, those guys are wrong to even say that. And it seems like a lot of people are just overly sensitive about being filmed. When you're in public, cameras are watching you. So what she's doing, she can technically film whatever she wants. So if she's filming this, she's not in the wrong. That guy shouldn't have even made a comment like that. Because he has no power in stopping her. She can film whatever she wants because she's in public. Now, I don't know the law in the UK, but I would imagine similar. How can that guy even know that she's filming him? That is because that guy is also a TI. Most likely not a true TI. Or maybe he is. Who knows? Maybe he also thinks she's a gang stalker. Who knows? But the gang stalkers can work in these people's mind. Everyone's mind. They can work in there. The gang stalker, that's how synchronization works. She walked by, the gang stalker can make that guy, using lower voices go, say something to her to trigger her now to fortify her belief that, oh, these guys are spying. Notice how the gang stalker can use two TIs against each other? I told you this in like the first three or four videos in the True Truth of Gang Stalking series. You, wa you walk into Walmart, you walk walking down an aisle, you see someone coming towards your direction. Most likely, that person can also think that you're a gang stalker if they're a true TI. But they're all TIs. We're all TIs. The gang stalkers are above government. The gang stalkers controls everyone in power. Throughout history, any powerful person have gang stalkers. They've been around for a long time. Gang stalking is just a modern day phrase. The experience itself, it's been around for a long, long time.
Hey, she handled it good. Like, she didn't let that guy intimidate her whatsoever. Good for her. And that's because she's a true T.I. That's part of being a true T.I. And once she understands the no fear mentality, none of this shit will matter to her. None of it. She wouldn't even waste her time filming these people. <laughs> All getting into their, uh, you know, undercover whatever vehicle there now. All three of them. I was just walking home. So, uh, uh, yeah. <sighs> I can't really see because of the way the sun is what they're doing back there, but yeah, same thing again. If it ends up on the social media sites, so we'll be taking a further action. We'll be taking action. They're always taking action. Oh. That's some of the best evidence I've probably uh, taken. Like, you can't dispute their goings on past now. This is what they drive in. All three of I find it funny that um, everywhere I go, it's these this group of people, this group of individuals always cross my path. Whenever I go, I walk out my road, I go down the street, they're always there, hanging around, doing something. The same individual, it's been three occasions now, and you can clearly see um, I'm not following them around, it's just they happen to be wherever I am. And they, 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 they're the intelligence agency, they're the surveillance agency, not me. And I find it funny that he tells me to get the camera out of his face, yet all three of them are hooked up with body cams recording me. It's um, ridiculous. But then look what happens when I come back home. I had one of them sat outside of my apartment, and he's there for about an hour, doing nothing in one of their little vans full security gear you can see the uh, pl fa you can see the police checkers right there on his shoulder it's an undercover cop in a van he's got the checkers on his shoulder there you can see little walkie talkie next to him sat outside right after this for about an hour in this van For those who are unfamiliar with a UK police uniform, this is how they wear their high vis. They always got them checkers on it, just like this. Yo, he's on the phone right now. And they're sat in there. See him kind of speaking, doing hand movements. So I just came home. So these hand movements, he's describing how I walked from down the road. Because this van was here when I came home. 
um, but I didn't think anything of it until I looked from my window at it. You can see him doing those hand signals right there. Look, you can see the police check is there as well. Hundred percent undercover police officer here. Um, this, as you can see, it's a nickname. Okay, now she's spending all this time trying to prove to the audience that that is an undercover police officer. That person is undercover police officer. Yes or no? It doesn't matter. It's sitting in his own vehicle. Sorry, video cut out again. That vehicle can be there. It doesn't matter if it's undercover or not because it's in his, his own vehicle. He can park there. It doesn't matter. You don't have to give him so much attention. No one's knocking on your door. No one's talking to you. There's nothing you can do because it's not like you can tell them to don't come over here. It's out of your power. So you have to work with what you have. And what you have is you don't need to spend all your energy looking out the window and try to research if they are undercover or not. Big deal. They're not there for you. They're just sitting in their car, in their van. You don't have to focus on them. But the lower voice, the skull, is definitely telling you different. The lower voice to skull from the gang stalkers are telling you, making you in fear, making you think the negative thoughts that, oh, those undercover people are there. They got to be there for me. Back to the same question I ask. Why are they there for you? Are you a criminal? What are you doing for them to be sitting outside your home spying on you or staking you out? Why you? And why they dare, and yet they don't engage with you. Not more than a sentence or two sentences. They're not even talking to you for 10, 20, 15 minutes. They're not even talking to you for one minute. They're just in the car. And you're in your home. Just so happen they parked outside your window. If you don't look at them through your window, if you just let the blinds, leave the blinds closed, go about doing your thing, you wouldn't even care if they're there for the next five hours. Who cares if they're outside? They are not engaging with you. And if they're outside every day, then yeah, then maybe they are surveillancing you or someone in the building. But you have to go back to the same question. Why are they surveillancing you? Are you a criminal? Did you commit murder? Are you about to commit some type of crime with a bunch of big time criminals? Are you affiliated in some really evil uh, gang that's about to commit some major crime? Are you a terrorist? Why you? Why are they surveillancing you? Are they still there the next day? Are they still there 10 hours from, from uh, earlier? Like, all these things need to be put into to, to the understanding of the entire picture. And to me, it's no big deal if they're sitting out there. Let them be. Don't even talk to them. Just go about doing your own thing. But who knows how many hours, well, at least for the entire duration, as long as those people are sitting outside her window, that's the duration she spent thinking negatively about why they are there and, or why they're there for her. And that's, she even asked the same question, right? Probably at some point, why are they there for me? Why are they here? Why are they stalking me? It's so sick. Why? Exactly. Why? Why you? Because they're not there for you. They're not there for you.
given to distinctive black and white checkered patterns, commonly known as dicing. If we move further on um, through this, it says um, the pattern was first adopted for police use in 1932 by Sir Perry Silito. Um, the pattern may be composed of several different colours and numbers of rows depending on local customs, but when incorporated into uniforms or vehicle lively, it serves to uniquely identify emergency services personnel to the public. This is only worn by the police. Uh, if we go to the third line down as well, the third line down, it says right there, the last uh, in the last sentence, it is used occasionally as elsewhere, including like some Spanish police in parts of Canada, where it is limited to auxiliary police services. Only the police can wear this. It's like you can't wear this pattern unless you're a police officer, otherwise you're impersonating the police. This is their, like, this is how you identify them. That is a policeman sat in that van, okay? <laughs> and he was sat there for about an hour, just sat there on the phone, and then he just drove away. No reason to be sat there. He was there when I walked home from that weird experience with those perps. There's no need to think of a reason on why they're there, because there's no way for you to know why they're there. And if you really want to know, you can go ask them. But then who, who would want to do that? That's com com confrontation. That's like looking for for reason to be messed with. Exactly what a TI would not do, right? Or maybe some TI would want to confront him. Who knows? Go ahead if you feel like you need to. Because actually that will help you to, to satisfy your mind that you're wrong about why they're there. But who cares why they're there? And there's no way a TI can figure out the reason that they're there. It's because the situation itself is not as, as dramatic as it seems. But the TI was led to believing that is is important. The TI is led to believe that it needs to focus his or her attention on whatever's going on. And the TI is being told through lower voice to skull with lies about, oh, that person, the gang stalker, that person's there spying or, or is there for her or him. That's too much info, too much negative thinking, too much uh, over the top thinking. Like, you, there's no need to even stress over that. Who cares what's the reason they're, they're there? They're not engaging with you? Don't worry about it. That's my advice to all TIs. I just thought it was a worker's van. Then when I was inside, looking out at my apartment, I noticed this. And so I got some footage of it. Undercover police pretending to be someone in, just in a van, doing nothing, sat outside. And, uh, yeah, this is real. This is real. Yes, that was, that was very real. Simone. Signing out.